Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys four of the cheapest ways to achieve some natural hair extensions. So if you want to see how you can DIY your own natural hair extensions, please stay tuned. are entering the fall and winter season yay 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 I'm so over the hot weather I'm ready to get into the cooler temperatures and with cool temperatures for natural hair comes protective styling now protective styling can be anything from a wig to some weave to some clippings anything like that but it can get very very pricey and expensive very very quickly so the very first DIY tutorial that I shared with you guys before you may have missed it was the how to make your own DIY on a budget clip-in extensions. Now these clip-in extensions are not the average clip-in extensions. This is for if you are a college student or someone that is really really on a tight budget or you just want to experiment with some DIY clip-ins. I created this look using some bobby pins, some braiding hair, and some perm rods. And you're pretty much just looping the hair around the bobby pins, twisting the hair using the two strand twist method, putting the perm rod on the end and dipping it in hot water. Pretty much the same exact thing that you do with box braids to make it wavy or make it curly. This is the exact same method. And synthetic hair is the absolute perfect texture of hair to get, especially beauty supply store wise, because it's very, very kinky, it's very, very thick, and it has a higher density with low luster when you put it into some boiling hot water. So it mimics natural hair very, very easily. And as the curls get old and start to frizz away, it looks even more realistic and it blends in with our hair even more. You definitely want to try that out if you are on a tight budget. The number one key point that you want to do before you actually get into those type of clippings is to make sure that you know your exact hair color number when it comes to the braiding hair. That way it has a seamless blend. Second method that you can do is actual professional DIY clippings. This gets a little bit more expensive than the previous clipping tutorial but it is still very very affordable. You can get this done under 20 bucks. A lot of beauty supply stores sell these clips and you guys don't even notice them because they are not marketed as clip-ins. They are actually marketed as wig clips. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is just some wig clips, um, a needle and some thread and some hair of your choice. And like I said I always go for the synthetic blends because it's very very easy to mimic a natural hair versus any of those afro textures that get really really matted quickly. Main thing is to look for the clips and the clips I know a lot of you guys have been asking me where you get them from. You can find them in your beauty supply store um, and online. I'll have links to them where I found them online but your beauty supply store sells them. They are just not labeled as clip-in clips. They are actually labeled as wig clips because people use these for wigs. But as long as they have the two holes for you to be able to connect it to your tracks, you got you some clip-ins. <laughs> Those clip-ins are way more durable than the previous clip-ins I was showing you guys. The third method is the flip over Ivy Powell method. Ivy Powell, she's a YouTuber as well. I have a link to her channel below. But this is another option that you guys can have if you really, really, really want to protective style and leave minimum hair out without having to buy an expensive closure. When it comes to closures, closures cost about the same price of an actual bundle or a set of bundles. So they can get very, very pricey. So to cheat that, you can create the flip over method. Us curly girls, we don't really show too much scalp with our hair. Our hair is very, very thick and we usually have it out or up. Um, you rarely ever can see a curly girl scalp because of how thick your hair is. So the closures really don't matter unless you really, really want a defined, like I have here, a middle part or a defined side part. But for the most part, you're not really showing too much scalp. So the flip over method is really, really good for those of you guys that don't show too much scalp. Just want something to be able to throw on your hair and have minimum leave out. When I usually wear my wigs for the flip over method, I usually just leave a small little piece in the perimeter just to blend and I'll take out my edges and lay down my edges. The last and final way is a crochet wig. Now I know crochet braids are pretty, pretty popular, but they are a huge commitment. You have to stick with them for a very long time when you get them installed. With the crochet wigs, it's the same exact method, but you can actually take the wig off and on. Um, you're just sewing it on to a netted cap 
pretty much a weaving cap and I really really like those caps because they're really really breathable you can still access your scalp it's just really really airy and not as secluded as a dome cap that's also another option and like I said the hair is not human hair you're pretty much going to be using a lot of synthetic brand hair one of my favorites that I personally recommend is the free trust brand it's a braiding hair brand they come in different textures so for each hair type in the natural hair hair typing chart there is most likely a texture to mimic your natural hair so the crochet wigs are a great alternative if you don't want to invest in an actual wig. I hope you guys enjoyed these four cheap natural hair extension methods. And let me know in the comments below what are your favorite protective styles. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.